Hey guys, with a little under two weeks to go until the national, here the Lennox team is going to help you with what to do at a card show and more importantly, what not to do at a card show. Are any of these cards actually worth something? Uh, my collection is all worth something. Mm, what about this one? $20? No, you can't get a Dylan Cruz autograph for $20. Mm. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm good. Can I see that card, please? For sure. Here you go. Thank you so much. How much for this one? Uh, this one I have stickered at 120 Oh, okay. Let me just look it up. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Um, how much for this one? I'm um, asking 120 on that one. Hmm. Do you mind if I scan it real quick? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Awesome, thanks. Shoot, she pulled out the Lennox app. This is not $120. I think I'm gonna pass. Oh, go ahead. Excuse you? Is this the line? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now that you know what to do and what not to do at the National, here's a quick summary of the topics that we covered today. Number one, be cordial to the dealers. Also, conversate with them. They're normal human beings and they love to be talked to within reason, but uh, just make sure you're asking them how their day's going and actually stimulate thoughtful conversation and hopefully it'll get you a better deal. Number two, do your research before buying a card, whether that's using Ludix to check the Ludix estimated price report or doing your own research using things like eBay. Make sure you're always paying a fair price for the cards that you're buying. Three, also make sure to be respectful to other attendees that are at the show and be mindful of their space and their time. And those were our tips for the National. Lugs is going to be at the National, so make sure to check out the Lugs VIP Lounge as well as our booth, and we'll see you there.